There is an enormous amount of information that goes in front of anatomy lesson by Rembrandt. You know, the fact that there was so much power of manipulation, of choice, in every single element that the artist chose to, to make the painting, uh, that made it such an iconic work of this amazing artist. Uh, the back of it is also as interesting as the front, I would say, because it has gone through so many uh, layers of manipulation and of, of conservation of attitudes. The herringbone pattern in the back of the canvas, uh, uh, it was a result of a relining that happened in the 19th century. Since that uh, fabric is not available, we had to hire a weaver upstate New York to weave the exact same uh, uh, fabric so we could actually make the work. It was an amazing challenge to do uh, anatomy lesson, and I'm very glad we carried it through beautifully. The 1654 painting by Carrel Fabricius of a gold thing chained, it's very enigmatic to me. As a matter of fact, my first visit to Mauritius, was, there was the image that stuck to my mind. I could not just stop thinking about it. Um, I had to come back and do something with that. The painting that was the theme of a recent Pulitzer Prize winning book uh, has become now much more famous than before and I'm, I'm very proud to have thought of this painting, of the importance of it very early on. Because of the size of the painting, uh, you have to look hard for clues and, and little things that can tell you about the making of this masterpiece by an artist that, that's so little known, that there's so little known about him. There are many reasons uh, why a painting becomes famous. You know, the Gioconda, for instance, was because it was stolen in the beginning of the 20th century. Uh, Grow the Pearl Earring, uh, it's, a, it's a sum of many, many stories, you know, and um, most recently a book and a film about it. And for a famous painting such as this, you know, it's a, I would say there's a deceiving amount of information in its back that attests to its uh, uh, authenticity. Um, but, you know, if you really want to look at it and learn from it, you have to go beyond the labels, beyond the, you know, the easy signifiers, uh, the stretcher, the kind of canvas, the hardware that was used by Vermeer to make sure that that painting would stand the test of time and reaches today. Uh, it's, it's fascinating. It's one of my favorite pieces in the entire collection. I'm glad to have it done it uh, and have it a comparison. So you can see the front of the painting in Moritz Huys and the back of the painting in this exhibition.